Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat and this is the place where I talk about cross stitch. Today I'm taking you on another tour of my stash and this video we're going to be focusing on my Dimensions regular collection. So that will include Dimensions, Dre Dreams, some Cruel and some Sunset Kits. So let's get started. This is my Elegant Kimono by Karen Avery. As you can see, this is quite an old kit. It's unsorted and it's lovely. It's gorgeous. And then we have this textured needle point, which is a Daydream's Trick Kit. This was a lovely present from a friend of mine. And I've actually always wanted to try textured needle point. So this would be the perfect test of whether or not I like it. Then we have Goldfinch and Lilacs. This is a very small kit. And it's designed by Susan Bordet, and I think you can still get this one. Lovely purples and greens, which are some of my favourite colours, especially combined. Here we have one of my few stamped cross stitches. This is Snowman Hearts Ornament by Susan Wingett. I'm not sure I'm into stamped cross stitch. Um, I'm definitely not into stamped tapestry, so we'll see. But I believe... Um, like the fabric is like this and then you have counted cross stitch so it's not too too similar to the tapestry um, I think one of the reasons that I don't like the tapestry is that it isn't very clear what, what colour you're supposed to pick but my gran collects snowmen ornaments very like this so I was thinking about maybe making her one of these but you know cross stitchers we rarely do what we say we will um, <clears throat> we just don't have the time so this is Dimensions Mini Banner by Debbie Mum. This is the winter one. And it's on Black Ada. And look at the tiny, tiny organisers. They're so cute. Um, this one also comes with a wire hanger. And I believe this one is also still available. Kayako has done one of these. I think she did four and she said it was very involved. So they look small. In fact, they are small, but they're more like a petite than a regular collection. <clears throat> then I have Cat Lady as a cat myself. Of course, I had to get this piece. This is by Grace Pop, and it has some lovely colours. And the reason that I was drawn to this kit is the tassels here. It looks like you make your own tassels, and this looks so realistic. So, the cat's pretty cute too. <laughs> Next up is Cafe by the Sea. I was going to start this for my birthday along with Calico, but we had a change of plans. Um, and this is by George Bjorkland. Stitching Dreamer is actually stitching one. This is one of her whips. So if you wanted to see how it turns out, which is by the way, gorgeous, feel free to go and check out her channel as well. A lot of beige colors here and browns, which aren't usually my favorite to stitch with. So we'll see, but so beautiful. Next up, we have one of my favourites. This is James Hinsworth's Guardian Spirit. Now this is technically a chart and not a kit, but I bought it as a kit on eBay because somebody else had kitted it up. Um, a company called Country Designs in Daventry. I don't know if they're still um, available, but that's who originally kitted this up. And just look at that puppy. This is seriously one of my favourites. Like. Then we have Call of the Wilderness by Michael Adams. This one has been opened and re-put back together again because when they sell them in Sweden, uh, for some reason they put in Swedish uh, translations of the, of the pattern themselves, like the store does. And so they have to open it to do that, unfortunately. Then we have Guilty Pleasures, which is a kit I've almost bought a dozen times. Um, this is by Suelen Ross, and it's a dog on a couch, and he's very much not allowed to be there. Look at that face. This really reminds me of uh, one of my mum's dogs, Butch. <clears throat> and this one is a very unique kit. This is a ribbon embroidery kit from the gallery collection called English Rose, and it's by Alan Malay. Down 
here and this is what it will look like stitched and it does have some ribbon embroidery and some other stitches as well to kind of pop the flowers but it is mostly ribbons and I got this one to prepare for another kit from Dimensions that has a lot of ribbon embroidery in it so I thought this would be a good starter piece and believe that you have some like couching and yeah it's very gorgeous though I really like that oops sorry baby this is my fig tree um, and she's doing really well so hopefully I don't hurt her during the filming um, but I really like that dimensions have all of these different types of crafts for you to try in the embroidery sphere and you will see more coming up I'm absolutely sure all right <clears throat> next is wild surf this is another chart with uh, attached kit it's by Jim Warren, and it's these horses crashing as a wave over the rocks. And here are all of the threads you need. Quite a chunky boy. So we'll see. But um, really pretty design. And then we have one of my favourite kind of watercolour-esque paint uh, cross stitches. This is Dawn of a New Day by Todd Trainer. And I mean, it's gorgeous. It's so beautiful. So can't wait to stitch this. I mean, look at that detail. Then we have The Dolphin's Domain by James Hemsworth. Anybody who has watched my channel before knows that I love underwater animals and the sea and animals in general, <laughs> but the sea especially. So this is a must stitch for me. It only has a couple areas unstitched at the bottom and all of this is mostly stitched. I think these are also unstitched. Here are the colours. This is on 14 count Ada. And it's also been torn open, but not actually opened, if you can see that. There's a couple more underwater scenes coming up, but this one is Roses in Crystal by Karen Avery, Avery even. Again, on 14 count, absolutely stunning piece. I uh, couldn't resist this one either. And there aren't that many threads. I am also very interested in a couple of Dimensions Counted Cross Stitch, not gold collection, that I haven't managed to find yet. Um, so this won't be the end of my collection, but I am getting to the point where I've accepted that I will never own every Dimensions kit. It's been an emotional journey. Uh, so this is Hummingbird Art. This one is definitely one for Calico to see. This is by Martha Edwards. You don't have this, right, Calico? It's on 14 count ivory Ada, and it's a lot of green. Just stunning. Then we have a Poppy Pear. This one, I think, is still available. It's just a small piece. And I got this to try Dimensions Cross Stitching Kits, believe it or not. Um, I'm now halfway through a gold collection. I finished two petites, but this was the one I wanted to try. <laughs> Never happened. <clears throat> But this one is no longer available, as far as I know. I could be wrong. <clears throat> one second, please. And this is Beach Houses by Gracie Knight. And I adore this for obvious reasons. So other than the little um, fish, which I will probably remove and replace with a Swedish flag, uh, I will obviously stitch this as charted. It's very lovely, but I'll probably do it on 28 count either. Then we have an absolutely stunning piece called Tiger Chilling Out, stitched on 18 count Ada, black Ada. Um, this is gorgeous. Needlecraft Danny, I think, is stitching this. Or has maybe even finished it by now. Oh, it's so lovely. Look at the reflection. All of this is in half cross, but I think a lot of the tiger is in full. And this is in threads. You see how much black there is to stitch with? That's a lot of black and dark blue, but... Oh, stunning. Just stunning. I think I'm going to have to go and stop an avalanche soon. But This is Soft Spot. This is also on 14 Count Ivory Ada. And it's by Sue Ellen Ross. <clears throat> and it's this lovely puppy. Again on the couch. <laughs> uh, just so soft. <clears throat> I mean, it really does look like fur. I remember this print. I remember having a sofa very similar to this print. So, I mean, I didn't. 
my family did when I was younger. So this piece is Sandcastle Dreams and oh my gosh, I just love it so much. I really do adore this piece. Um, it's been replaced by Swedish instructions, so you can't see the floss, but I fell in love with this when I saw it, so I had to have it, obviously. Otherwise, I would have been sad. All right, <clears throat> I've solved the avalanche. So here is a chew by Brett Longley. And this is a puppy who sneezed and it looks like his spots have fallen off. Um, just adorable. Probably wouldn't stitch it on the cord for 40, 14 count, but on a 28. Just because so much of this is unstitched, I would probably stitch it on even weave, but it is so cute. And here is my other underwater treasure. This is Circle of Whales by Michael Adams. Orcas are some of my favourite animals, and yeah, though they are terrifying. Thank you. Like, you know, they um, they learn how to cap capsize icebergs which have seals on them, so that the animals will fall in the water and they can eat them. Isn't that crazy? That's nature is is very very smart. Um, Tree and I are not getting along today because normally I don't hit it. I'm so sorry, Fig Tree. Forgive me. Then we have Magnificent Seven designed by Brian Moon. It's also on 14 count and it's these dogs pretending to be cowboys. So cute. So cute, but no fabric for you. There is, however, fabric on. <clears throat> Here's a Wise Owl. This is so much stitching uh, of background. Very little stitching of the brown owl, but. All the colours, as you would imagine, are mostly brown, orange. Quite a lot of blue, though. Blue and grey. But yes, it's a lovely piece. It's also stitched on 14 count, designed by Russell Cobain. Then another small one. This is the Summer Mini Banner. All these beautiful frogs having a good time. And it comes with the wire, just like the other one did. And just a few strands of... There are so few colours. Are you absolutely sure that this is tedious, <laughs> Christine? Look at that. It's only like, what, a couple threads per colour? I don't know. And then we have Horse Pals. Uh, this is another very small one that I will do on probably tea dyed even weave, if I can afford even weave. This is designed by Barbara L. Gibson. And here's a tiny bundle of threads. This just makes me so happy. They're such a happy pair. This one I have taken out of the bag because I only have leftovers for this one, but this is Barry Charles Eagle in Moonlight. And, oops, here are the leftovers. There's still quite a lot of leftover threads in this kit, so I'm hoping it's enough to at least pattern, at least color match DMC, if not finish the piece. Then we have another piece of horses turned out of waves. It's called The Wave. And it has this one real horse and then a bunch of, you know, they're like coming out of the wave. And it's stitched on 16 count Dove Grey Ada and it's designed by Jim Warren. And all the colours are blue, so I feel like I will really enjoy stitching this one. Then we have a Charles Wysocki. We have Frederick the Literate, of course. And here's a close-up of the cat's face. This is stitched on 14 count black, Ada. And I'll have to remove the seller's note, but there's also some uh, gold thread in there. A lot of brown, some red. Another bookshelf for me to stitch when I finish my Amazing Animal Kingdom. But all of the titles are things like uh, Puss in Boots, Sardine, <laughs> Tale of Two Kitties instead of Cities. So, yes, very cute. Then I couldn't resist this Simplicity Vintage, which was stitched on 14 count Ada, and it's these three very fashionable ladies modeling one of the vintage designs, the 1452. Here are all the colors, not so many. And it's probably one of the ones that I would stitch on Evenweave as well. 
a more delicate look. Their faces weird me out a little bit. Like if you look too closely at this front lady's face. Ooh. The dresses are gorgeous, so. <clears throat> and then we have my favourite pair, Village Canal and Glory of Autumn. I don't know why I feel like these are sister pieces, but I really do. They're, they're both stitched on 14 count. Um, this one's on light blue and this one's on ivory. And this first one is designed by Sung Kim. Lovely cherry blossoms coming over. And this really reminds me of a small town we have nearby <clears throat> called Serda Sherping, which is very famous for having a river running through the city centre and well, the town centre, I guess, and a canal river just off it as well. And they have the most darling houses. Oh, we've got, a, we've got a runaway. Get back in there. A beautiful bright pink. And Glory of Autumn is designed by Rudy Richard. 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 Anyway, that. <laughs> and this is also just a gorgeous piece. Um, Christine over at Calico has stitched this one as well. I think she changed it to 18 count, but you should go check out her videos if you're interested in how it looks. After being stitched, then we have just a small one again, Birdhouse Welcome by Dimensions. They're all by Dimensions. Uh, this one's been opened at the, at the bottom, like fully open, so. Uh, but it should theoretically, yeah, have the thread still in. I was going to gift this to a friend, but it's because it's been opened, it's, it's sort of impossible. Um, and this is stitched, uh, designed by Daniel Gorman. Then we have the full banner. This is the one that I said that uh, Calico had stitched. And to be fair, this one is way more full coverage than any of the others and has a few more threads. So I forgive you. It probably was a lot of work, actually. Look at that cute owl, though. And all those mushrooms and all those French knots. It's adorable. Adorable. Another one of the houses that I love. This is Peaceful Lake House. It's stitched on 14 count ivory Ada and it's designed by Nikki Boney. There's something very spring in this scene. Look at the hollyhocks. And here are all the colours. And then we have uh, my cruel kit. So I only own one because I've never tried Cruel, so I didn't want to order more until I knew if I liked it. But this is Spellbound Beauty, designed by Rosemary Millette. And it's just lovely, look at those wolves. Uh, so if you've never seen Cruel before, um, it contains a mix of Persian wool and acrylic yarn, cotton embroidery thread, and then the design is printed on the fabric. Let me see if I can, there we go, like this. And then there's a chart that will have these areas that are unstitched or unprinted, sorry, and it will tell you which stitch to use where with which wool. And um, I suppose in the end, it's supposed to look a bit like this. So, for example, all of these look a bit like French knots or maybe a chain stitch. These are definitely French knots. So but you don't stitch the whole thing. You just stitch the wolves, which I think is a lot nicer than... Um, cross stitch in the same printed way that I, at least that I've seen this seems more natural than um, when it's cross stitch fabric but we'll see anyway I'm really looking forward to starting this I think it'll be fun to learn some cross stitch some stitches that aren't crosses this is feasting frenzy this is stitched on 18 count ivory ada it has all these beautiful colorful birds trying to eat from the bird table and here are your colours. Stunning. Again, even with anything with like large blobs of unstitched, I usually think it probably would look nicer with even weave, but I haven't actually swapped any even weave out for a kit yet, so I wouldn't know. But I've heard that on the grapevine. Then we have the Sorceress, which I will definitely be stitching on even weave. This is stitched on 14 count ivory Ada. I actually bought her as a pair with her, the sorcerer, as a companion, but they lost the sorcerer. So they only charged me half, but um, I was pretty gutted, but she was my favourite anyway, so 
Hopefully I get him some other day. Then we have two raccoon cubs. I don't know why this appeals to me so much, but they're so cute. Um, and this is by Rebecca Latham. Latham. And it's a mostly monochrome, you know, gray, grays and browns. Gets adorable effect. Then we have Beach Babies. This is by Donald Zolan. This has actually been stitched by someone else, so it doesn't come with the fabric, but they didn't use the, th the threads, they prefer DMC. So they pattern matched or colour matched with DMC and then they sold the um, cottons with the chart. So that's exciting. Means I can swap in the even weave and not even feel guilty about wasting the Ada. Then this is Simple Treasures. This is probably my most likely next start. I mean, I shouldn't say that because I love all of them, but Simple Treasures is just gorgeous. And it's very beach themed, which as previously mentioned, I'm definitely into. And also it's a sampler, so each section kind of feels like a mini finish. It's stitched on 14 count white Ada and it was designed by Sandy Orton from the Cooler Designer Studio. The Cooler Designer Studio, by the way, do some fantastic pieces. So both dimensions and also they have an online store. So definitely worth checking out. I have all of their, or nearly all of their stockings in the Heritage Stocking series. Then Morning Flight, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen this. This is stitch, uh, designed by Purses Clayton Weirs, and it's an eagle just doing a little, a little uh, overview of his hunting. Looks like he's in the mood for fish for breakfast. There is a lot of fabric in this one. Which is surprising because not that much of it is just stitched. But I suppose it's nearly all for full cross, except for like the right hand side, maybe. Then we have Purity, Strength and Truth, which someone was very kind and cut out the front page of me for. And here are all the colours for that. So lots of reds and greens and browns. Very exciting colours. Again, surprising how much red there is. And finally, ending on the same note, we have Good Fortune, which is a jiffy sunset, which is still dimensions. And this is designed by Jean Freshly, stitched on 14 count khaki Ada. And then all of these uh, symbols or copies of the symbol in the background are with gold, um, gold thread. This one looks like it shouldn't take too long. So it's um, all the full coverage here. Then the rest is very sparse. And I believe this is cording as well. This red. Yeah, this is cording. So not like a simple piece at all. I think that the idea with Jiffy is you can finish it in a Jiffy, you know, in a short period of time. But they're, they're not always that simple. All right, let me go and double check. I don't have any more. All right, so that is everything from me. I'm going to put the tree back where it belongs. And I hope you guys have a fantastic week. I will see you next week with my end of August, beginning of September vlog. Love you all. <laughs> Bye.